Hi guys, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. This is our 12th video for Django tutorial series, and in this series, we are creating a question answer website. So, in this video, we will perform the user authentication system. We will create user login, user logout, and user sign up functionality with the help of Django user model. So, let's do this. So, the first I will perform the user login logout functionality. So, I will open the project level URL file I will open the project level URL file and I will add the path accounts and in the accounts I will put this URL put this path contrib dot auth dot URLs and now I will create the login template so here in the template folder I will create the another folder registration because Django authentication system will search the login template in the registration folder so that we are creating a login.html file in the registration folder and now we will extend our base template which we have created in our previous video we will extend this template here so what I will do extends page.html and here I will close this and now we will get the block title set the block title and set the user login and here I will put the and if condition not and if and block okay and now we will create the block content and and block because in the base html template we have defined the block name as a content so that we are going to load the this login.html template to extend in this base template now we will create the template class container and in container we will create this in a card so class card and in this we will create this user login and class card body And here I will put the form. In the form, I will create the form as a table. So, table border. And here I will load the form. So, Django provides us form on the login path. We will see. And here I will define the method equal to post and CS rf token and one thing more we need to define tr for the button so button and lock now we are going to put this in button primary so let's check this so after accounts login so we have a syntax error and block and block and we are doing the end block because we are not going to we have not started the block content okay. so now you can see here we have a we are it is loading the template login template login form card header and we need to put the margin margin top five so now we have all set so it is loading the login template now we need to define the login redirect so we have we will open the setting.py file when successfully login then we are redirecting on home and if you log out then we are redirecting on login page so let's login admin admin enter 
so it's it's logged in and it is it, it, it is redirected on home page now we need to uh, change need to modify the url so we will go open the base.html template and here i will check if user dot is authenticated i have logged in as an admin so admin user and if is authenticated then it will show the profile link and it will show the logout link so logout link and here we will put the url logout so django authentication system provides us the url so url and if user is authenticated then it will show the logout okay so because we are not on home page uh, because we are on home page and on and home page is we are not extending the base.html template so we need need to do this separately so we will copy this and home template we will paste it here okay so it is saying that if is looking this bracket and so here you can see we have a profile and logout link and when the user click on the logout link then it will redirect on the login page so now we have successfully created the login and logout functionality now we will do the next sign up functionality so let's do this we will create the i will copy the login form and paste it here and save as a register dot html okay and now we will open the views.py file do not views.py we will open the forms.py file here i will create the form so which form this is uh, we don't need to create the form actually because django provides us the form for the user creation so we will directly call that so here we have so here you can see we are we are loading the form from the auth user creation form now in the we will define the method user register definition register request here we will define the form user creation form this form will help to create the form helps us to create the form turn render request because we have created a register.html in the registration folder so we will define the path and our form is form okay so now we need to we have created this function now we need to define the function in the url so we will define this user register okay so what we will do we will register and now we will register then the url will be register and now we are ready to show the registration form okay we are making this okay Register.html is also okay. We need to change the title register. Okay, also register. Okay, let's check this. So we will register. So you can see we have a register form. So we have created this form. Now we will save the data. When user registered, then we will save the data and one thing more we need to modify we will open the base.html template and here i will put the else that if user is not logged in then we will show the login and login and register form login and register link okay so here i will put the login and i will also put the uh, register so what we will do accounts slash you can also use this 
tag so we can also use this tag or we can also use this so I'm using this uh, directly this path so here we will register because uh, we are in it is a base template and we are on home page this base template and user is authenticated then it will show the login logout and the user is not authenticated then it will show that so you can see here it is showing the user login uh, login and register functionality so let's login so now it is showing the profile and logout do the same thing i will do the same thing in the home template so <clears throat> we have created the login logout functionality and we have also changed the menus according to authentication now we are going to save the data of user registration so we will open the views.py file and here i will check the if request dot method if request dot method equal equal to sorry post if request method equal to post then reg form equal to reg form equal to user creation form and i will pass the posted duck and here i will check the edge form dot is valid if it valid then we will save this form dot save and i will generate the message dot success user has been registered okay and in the register page we will show the message here so here i will put the message as a for loop for messaging messages here and for message and now we'll put this message in the p tag as a green box class text success okay so let's register some user so i will use alex we need to change the title of this button registered so user has been registered so here you can see user has been registered successfully so we have registered the user now let's log in this user so alex submit so i have successfully logged in so let's change the name of this button register so we have completed our user authentication system in this video now in the next video i will create the question ask page so that user can ask the question so if you remember the prototype then we have created the question detail page let's open the prototype first okay i will open it and if i will go to the question go to this my folder youtube tutorials and here i have created the prototype prototype this is user register user question so in the next video we will create this user ask question page so that user can type question detail question title and tags and then submit and we will save the data in the database so if you like this video then please subscribe please share thank you thank you so much